Hey everyone, so today we are on um, glutes workout number nine and I can't believe I haven't thought of this one yet. Um, we're going to be using a ball. So <laughs> pause the video for a second and get something. So a kind of flat football, it's got to have a little bit of a squish to it. Um, <laughs> something like this, a balloon would do. And you know what, even a pillow or a foam roller would be just fine. So you can use um, any of one of those kind of things. Um, but these, are, I can't believe I've waited until now to film these exercises. They are my favorite of all time glutes exercises. So remember these, come back to it, um, do them definitely if you have any knee pain and definitely if you are a runner. So I also thought I'd give you um, another view of my house. So we are in my kitchen. Um, it's raining outside and um, I don't know, just felt like, actually you've seen the kitchen before when I did the workout on the table when it was glutes as well, wasn't it? So you just need a wall to be honest, or you can do it in your kitchen um, and you just need a flat surface to the side of you. The ball is going to be between your knee and the wall. So um, if you can see there, I've got, um, in fact, start with both feet on the floor ball between your knee and the wall. That's actually quite a good angle as well. And you are going to bend the leg where the ball is on that side. I'm having trouble concentrating with these two monkeys um, <laughs> hovering around me. The other foot is firmly planted on the floor. So the tips, I want your hips level. I want you to drop a little bit the hip on the side of the ball. Um, I want you to keep your knee pointing forwards on the standing leg. I want you to draw up through your arch on the standing leg. Um, I want you to make sure that you pull your hips away from the wall and your ribs towards. So what tends to happen is your ribs go away and your hips sink towards. So you sink into the wall. What I want you to do is push into the ball and push your hips away. So just practicing that to start with, allowing the hip to sink to the wall and push into it and push your hip away. Lily, can you stop, please? Okay. Bend your knee on the standing leg a little bit. Sit back into your heel slightly and that will hopefully make you use your glutes, not lose your glutes. I'm going to turn around again to here to give you that side view. Um, the ball is between your knee and the wall. You're pushing into the ball to push your hips away. You have your hips level. You keep your ribs towards the wall. You take your weight back through the heel of the standing leg. And on the standing leg, your knee is a little bit bent. I also want you to tuck your bottom under as well. So to start with, pushing into the wall. Now you've been practicing this for a few minutes as we've been talking through it. Pushing your knee into the ball. So push for 30 seconds and we're going to do it from now. Cool, 30 seconds. Breathing, keeping the ribs towards. Hands on your hips is quite useful. Keep the weight backwards um, over the heel. And you should feel it in the side of the glutes here, drawing in the tummy. Everything in line, don't let that heel come across. Good, 10 seconds to go. Drop the shoulders, stay up tall. That glutes should be burning if you're pushing your knee into the wall. Fantastic. Now we've got to swap legs and we do 30 seconds on the other leg. Let's take a second getting ourselves in the right position. So the ball is going to be on the outside of the other knee. Your feet are vaguely hip width apart on the floor. You pick up the leg that's closest to the wall, bend the knee slightly, tuck the bottom under, make sure your hips are level and everything's pointing forwards. Take the weight back through the heel and bend the knee slightly. Push into the ball and let's hold for 30 seconds. Drop the shoulders, stay up tall, make sure the ribs come towards the wall and your hips come away from the wall. Good. And we should always, with these exercises, hold for 30 seconds for the first one. That activates that glute med, that muscle on the side here, on the side of the hip. Three, two, 
one. Brilliant. So the next one we're going to do, and this one works quite well with the foam roller. So if you haven't got a ball like this, then you can use the foam roller. We're going to have the ball again. We're going to assume that same position, everything up tall, drop this hip to make sure the hips are level, keep the ribs towards the wall. And we're squatting and coming back up again. You roll the ball down the wall, or if it's a foam roller, you're rolling it down and up. So everything up tall, pushing into the ball, and 10. Squat and come back up. Sit back into the heel and come back up. Sit back, sit your bum back as if you're sitting down on something. Allow the body to come forwards. Good. Allow the body to come forwards and come up tall. Squeeze your glute, squeeze your thigh, keep the weight back through the heel. You are angling and folding at the hip. Now I think that must be 10. Good. If you can keep going with those forever, I'm just going to stop my stopwatch. If you keep going with those, if you can keep going with those forever, you've not got all of the positions quite right. So let's go through them again. The knee is against the ball. The hips are level. You're up tall, bottom tucked under, knee a little bit soft on the standing leg, and then 10, sitting back into it and pull up tall, sitting back into the heel and pull up tall. Keep pushing into the ball. Keep your ribs towards and your hips away. Good. And you should feel it in here. Seven, I think. Up tall each time. Eight. Nine. Ten. Fantastic. So we're going to do another exercise in that same position. So I think you'll be able to see it better with me this way around. This is one reason why I chose the kitchen to film this workout. Um, standing with the feet hip width apart, bending one knee, knee against the ball, against the wall, and we are rolling it forwards and backwards. There, can you see? The ball works perfectly. If you find you're dropping the ball, with these ones, then you're not pushing into it enough. This actually works really quite nicely in the kitchen because you can have your fingertips on the kitchen surface on the top. Good. You've got to keep adjusting the ball and bringing it back to where you want it. As you come back, it rolls around the front of the knee a little bit. As you come up, it rolls down the shin a little bit. Good, and it's that standing leg that's doing a lot of the work and the glute will be working strongly. Good, let's swap sides. Not ideal here, I think I'm losing the ball because of all of these. Um, in, what's the word I was going to use? All of these handles. Um, so, pushing into the ball, assume your position to start with, drop the ribs, take the weight back through the heel, soften the knee on the standing leg, and forwards and backwards. Two, three, four, <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we can do a set up on the toes, which can be quite interesting. Good. So here, I'm going to move a bit forward. So I haven't got the handles. Up onto the toes on that standing leg, fingertips on the surface, and rolling forwards and backwards. You can move it a little bit faster. Four, five, six, seven, keep pushing into it, eight, nine, ten, nice, other side, up onto the toes, good, and one, two, keep strong through the tummy, four, glutes here, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, lovely, Last one of these exercises, and you can use this like a little circuit and repeat it once I've signed off. So, standing leg, bend your knee just a little bit, tuck in, sit back, push into the ball, just like we did with the first exercise when we were holding for 30 seconds, and I want you to bounce into it. So we're going to do 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, another ten, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think we're going to have to repeat that there so fast. Seven, eight, nine, ten, another ten. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Brilliant. Swapping sides. Pushing into the ball. Tuck under, sit back into the heel of the standing leg. Drop the shoulders and pulse again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's get to forty. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Brilliant. Lovely stuff. And I tell you what, to finish off, let's do a 30 second hold on each side just to be sure. Lily, out of the way. Good. There. Start feet hip width apart. Pick up the leg where the ball's against the wall. Bend your knee slightly, tucking under, ribs towards, hips away, squeeze that glute, take the weight back on your heel, push and hold for 30 seconds. Off we go. Squeeze in the tummy, everything pointing forwards. And see how hard you can push into that ball. This glute has to react. The harder you push into the wall with the ball, the harder your glutes will work on the standing leg. These are fantastic exercises before you go out for a run. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Brilliant. Swapping sides. Oh my gosh, don't lose the ball. Pushing into it. Bend the standing leg. Tuck your bottom under. Push. You can shuffle as you need to. Take the weight back through your heel. Tuck your bottom under. Squeeze your glute on that standing leg. See how hard you can push into the ball. Didn't start my timer. <laughs> I think we're probably on about 10 seconds left now. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Brilliant. So there you go. There's a bit of glutes work for you. Like I say, those are my favorite exercises. I tend to give those out as a physiotherapist. Loads and loads. They are very functional to how your glutes need to function. Um, what you need to do is do that 30 second hold to start with. Don't get rid of that bit. 30 second hold on each side um, and then three times 10 squats, three times 10 forwards and backwards and three times 40 pulses on each side. It's a lovely little workout to activate your glutes before you run. Even if your glutes feel super tired and super worked, they will still kick in um, as you run. Fantastic. Lovely to see you all and uh, see you tomorrow for the next workout. Take care. Bye.